Peace and the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You rank in the hundreds. Alhamdulillah, we had 32 contestants for the elimination weeks. They all did marvelously well. Unfortunately, half of those had to go home. 16 in the semi finals, again, wonderfully well. The judges, Restricted, they can only pick eight for the finals. Now, today, in the Iqra TV studios, we have eight hopefuls, inshallah, battling in recitation, in answering the judges' questions. Who will win the Q factor? Who will take the second position? And who will take the third position? This we can only find out towards the end of the show and only by the Q-Factor judges. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, Sheikh Huzaifa. How are you? Alhamdulillah. All uh, geared up? All ready and excited, inshallah. Inshallah. How has it been for you so far? Um, the last few weeks, obviously, has been uh, quite difficult to pick these eight um, for the finals. Um, now, obviously, the pressure is on today that we have to, you know, win the three of them from the, from the eight. So, inshallah, let's see how they do. Um, I think the pressure is on the contestants, really, to sure. do their best, inshallah. Jazakumullah. Uh, yeah. Sheikh Maqsud Ilahi, how are you doing? Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah kathira. It's nice to have you. And uh, your experience so far? Allahu Akbar, it was amazing. Because some of the reciters, their, the level of uh, the quality is really, really very high. And I really miss some of the reciters who couldn't make it here. Because it's very tight, uh, the competition, last few rounds. Hundred congratulations to them, those who made today. Uh, I think they're already winner because they have like hundreds of the contestants behind, yep. and they're here. Okay, congratulations to you all. Jazakumullah, thank you. And I want I want to also thank all the audience, the pa um, the parents that are here. Mashallah, keep uh, uh, making a dua, I, I suppose, uh, during the competition. Thank you very much indeed for being here. Now, inshallah, we will start off the competition. This is the finals. Do remember that. The winner, all the top three walk away with a tablet. The winner of the Q Factor 2015 walks away with a five star Umrah package. And the uh, second position walks away with a three uh, star Umrah package, inshallah. Sponsored by our sponsors, uh, Allah reward them abundantly. Uh, they are the Ahsan Tours and the Muntada Travels. Jazakumullah wa ahsanul jaza to them all. Let's start with our first contestant, inshallah, Muhammad Nabil Khan from London, 12 years of age. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah. Nabil, how are you? I'm fine, alhamdulillah. Okay, now let's all find out a bit about Nabil Khan before you start reciting. I believe everyone at home needs to know uh, Muhammad Nabil Khan's journey, how he managed to get here, inshallah, before the recitation starts. <laughs> Islamic My preparation is uh, going well and I've learned a lot um, s since the beginning of the month. Inshallah, I'll, I'll learn more even after the final. I have a request for the creativity of the Quran. And I have a lot of people who have been in the Quran. My teachers help me and my uh, brother helps me and my parents. Some of my friends, they watch Ikra TV and they were surprised to see me. He always tries to do the best he can as a Muslim, you know, as a brother, as a son and, you know, as a student. Whatever um, position he is in, he always tries to do his best uh, to be like the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Please make a dua, a dua for me. And with Allah's help, inshallah, I'll be a hafiz. He's, he's a great brother like that, and he's always, you know, looking out for everyone. Competition to Haraj is so much fun. It is our Manushanti. The Borobor Jaja Hole, that our business is hard. Yeah, hard. We are Shanti. Why do we want to do it? 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 Why do we want to do
Lovely. Thank you very much, Muhammad Nabil Khan. That was you with your family at home. Jazakumullah. Start your recitation, please. Billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Qaf. Wal Quran al-Majid. Bal ajibu an jaahum mudhirum minhum. مُنذِرُ مِنْهُمْ فَقَالَ الْكَافِرُونَ هَذَا شَيْءٌ عَجِيبٌ أَإِذَا مِتْنَا وَكُنَّا تُرَابًا ذَلِكَ رَجْعٌ بَعِيدٌ قَدْ عَلِمْنَا مَا تَنْقُصُ الْأَرْضُ مِنْهُمْ وَعِنْدَنَا كِتَابٌ حَفِيظٌ بَلْ كَذَّبُوا بِالْحَقِّ لَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ فَهُمْ فِي أَمْرٍ مَرِيجٍ أَفَلَمْ يَنْظُرُوا إِلَى السَّمَاءِ فَوْقَهُمْ كَيْفَ بَنَيْنَاهَا وَزَيَّنَّاهَا وَزَيَّنَّاهَا وَمَا لَهَا مِنْ فُرُوجٍ وَالْأَرْضَ مَدَدْنَاهَا وَأَلْقَيْنَا فِيهَا رَوَاسِيَ وَأَنْبَتْنَا فِيهَا مِنْ كُلِّ زَوْجٍ بَهِيجٍ تَبْصِرَةً وَذِكْرَى لِكُلِّ عَبْدٍ مُنِيبٍ ونزلنا من السماء ماء مباركا فأنبتنا, فأنبتنا به جنات وحب الحصيد جزاكم الله محمد نبيل I've got to stop you there let's go over to the judges for their questions شيخ مقصود الله نبيل if you can tell me إذا متنا وكنا ترابا you see this after Turaba there is sign here. What stopping sign it is? What's the rule for this? Is it um you um it's better to continue. Okay, and what's the name of this? Uh, uh, is it Al Waslu Aula? Al Waslu Aula, very good. Okay. Uh min hum. Mundirum min. What tajb is there? Yes, um Idram Birunna. Because um, after noon, Sakina or Talween, there was a meme. Okay, very good. Jazakum khair. Okay, Jazakum Allah, Shaykh Maqsood, Mawlana Zayfa. My first question for you, um, Nabil, is from the first letter, Qaf. In which mad applies in that word? The mad al Which one? Harfi mu khafaf. Okay. Uh, the second question. Ayah number 11, Rizqal lil ibad. Rizqal lil ibad. Is it Idram or Idram bilagunna? Because afternoon, Sakna Tanween, there was a lamb. Okay, yeah, Jazakallah. Jazakumullah. Now I'm going to come over to Shaykh Maqsud Ilahi to give Nabil his final recitation. Nabil, if you can recite from Surah Al Baqarah. Okay, open Surah Al-Baqarah. Start from uh, ayah number 225, please. Two hundred and twenty-five. La rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. لا يؤاخذكم الله باللغو في أيمانكم ولكن يؤاخذكم ولكن يؤاخذكم بما كسبت قلوبكم والله غفور حلي غفور حليم لِلَّذِينَ يُؤْلُونَ مِنْ نِسَائِهِمْ تَرَبُّصُ أَرْبَعَةِ أَشْهُرُ 
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Adam, how are you doing? Alhamdulillah, well, how are you? Jazakumullah, very well, thank you very much indeed. Let's find out about Adam. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Watlu alayhim naba'a nuhin idh qala liqawmihi. This has been a great journey so far for me, from the qualifying rounds to, alhamdulillah, to the final. I think I've done well so far. But I have made a few errors which I wish to correct in the final, inshallah. Azam basically has a quite a packed week during uh, where he actually studies um, in school five days a week. Plus he has to maintain uh, his Quranic uh, studies. I thank my father for all of his help. But I also have to thank my brother, my sister and my mother, especially all my ustad. For without them I wouldn't be here today. But most of all, the help from Allah has been the best. For without him, I wouldn't be here at all. So including dua for all the contestants, inshallah, that um, the, whoever Allah wills and the justice decide, inshallah, that he becomes the winner, inshallah. And hopefully, inshallah, complete my ac academic studies. But most of all, I want to, uh, want to keep on the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and abide by the rules in the Quran, inshallah. All the people, alhamdulillah, watching competition, uh, for them to actually do dua for us. I know a lot of people are watching and I ask you duas for me to complete this journey successfully inshallah. But most of all I ask Allah to give me the best whatever he wants me to become inshallah. How many have you got so far? Like here. Jazakumullah <laughs> Very well. A trip to your home. Mashallah. When you're ready. <coughs> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل للمؤمنين يغضوا من أبصارهم ويحفظوا فروجهم ذلك أزكى لهم إن الله خبير بما يصنعون وقل للمؤمنات يغضضن من أبصارهن ويحفظن فروجهن ولا يبدين زينتهن إلا ما ظهر منها وليضربن بخمرهن على جيوبهن ولا يبدين زينتهن إلا لبعولتهن أو آبائهن أو آباء بعولتهن أو آباء بعولتهن أو أبنائهن أو أبناء بعولتهن أو أبناء بعولتهن أو إخوانهن أو بني إخوانهن أو بني إخوانهن أو بني أخواتهن أو نسائهن أو نسائهن أو ما ملكت أيمانهن 
أو ما ملكت أيمانهن أو التابعين غير أولي الإربة من الرجال أو الطفل الذين لم يظهروا على عورات النساء. جزاكم الله خيرا. We have to go over to the questions now. شيخ زيفا. جزاك الله good recitation. First question. From in Allah khabirum bima khabirum bima. What's the rule that applies? Iqlab, because the if noon or sakin or tanwin, the tanwin is ra tanwin appears before ba. Then we pronounce the iqlab. Second question: Wa tubu ila Allah. Which rule, uh, which mud is there, and uh, how many, how long is it? Madul Munfasil, two, four, or five counts, and it appears when uh, a mud letter appears at the end of the word, and at the start of the next word, there's a hamza. Can we pronounce the mud? Yeah, okay. Jazakum. Okay, Sheikh uh, Maksud. Zalika azka lakum, azka lahum. Zalika azka lahum. Stop here. There's a stopping sign here. What sign it is? Qaflamia. And uh, yeah, or dream. You have to give me one. Dream. What's the rule? So if uh, dream appears, you have the option to carry on or option to stop. Let's just stop. Okay. What's the mud on the ra? Madul asli. Madul asli. Okay. And yeah, if a uh, mud letter appears in the word, you have to stretch it for two counts. Okay. So how long you make two haraka, two haraka long, yeah? yeah? Okay, exactly. Okay, lovely. Sheikh uh, Huzaifa, surah, please. Sheikh Huzaifa, you'll have to repeat that. Uh, use the mic, please. Okay, uh, so that's uh, surah mumtahina, um, <coughs> ayah number 10, please. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا جاءكم المؤمنات محاجرات فامتحنوهن الله أعلم بإيمانهن فإن علمتموهن مؤمنات فلا ترجعوهن إلى الكفار لا هن حل لهم ولا هم يحلون لهم وآتوهم ما أنفقوا ولا جناح عليكم أن تنكحوهن إذا آتيتموهن أجورهن ولا تمسكوا بعصم الكوافر واسألوا ما أنفقتم وليسألوا ما أنفقوا ذلكم حكم الله يحكم بينكم والله عليم حكيم وإن فاتكم شيء من أزواجكم إلى الكفار فعاقبتم فآتوا الذين ذهبت أزواجهم مثل ما أنفقوا جزاكم الله عظيم وقال صدق الله العظيم Take your seat please. Thank you very much indeed. Our next contestant all the way from Bradford 13 years of age Elias Masood Assalamu alaikum. Elias, how are you? Alhamdulillah, how are you? All well? You're reading Surah Al Zukhruf? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, verse number 40, uh, sorry, verse number 68. Yeah. When you're ready. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Al-lazina amanu bi-ayatina wa kanu muslimin. 
ادخلوا الجنة أنتم وأزواجكم تحبرون يطاف عليها بصحاف من ذهب وأكواب وفيها ما تشتهيه الأنفس وتلذ الأعين وأنتم فيها خالدون وتلك الجنة التي أورثتموها أورثتموها بما كنتم تعملون لكم فيها فاكهة كثيرة منها تأكلون إن المجرمين في عذاب جهنم خالدون لا يفتر عنهم وهم فيه مبلسون وما ظلمناهم ولكن كانوا هم الظالمين ونادوا يا مالك ليقض علينا ربك قال إنكم ماكثون لقد جئناكم بالحق ولكن أكثركم للحق كارهون جزاكم الله let's stop the let's go over to the questions now الشيخ مقصود الله إلياس if you can tell me وما ظلمناهم ولكن كانوا هم الظالمين في ظالمين what tajweed is there? Mad'ad sukun. This is basically when uh, if you see any of the mad uh, tabi'i letters, like uh, alif, uh, waw, or ya, and uh, vowels before it, like muslimin, for in this case, uh, mean, uh, ya before it is a kasra, so, uh, and it's near the uh, last letter, so basically you make it two or four or six counts. Is the last letter this way? It's near the last letter, like. Okay, right. Uh, if you can just tell me, innakum ma kithun, innakum ma, what to do with this there? It's a ghaam shafuwi, because there's a meme second after it is another meme, so you just um, okay. merge it. Very good. So. Okay, Sheikh Zayfa. Okay, uh, my first uh, question. Wa antum fiha. What's the rule? What's the rule that applies in those two words? Wa antum fiha. It's ithar Because explain the rule. Because uh, because after the after the meme second is a uh, wow, and it's uh, ithar shafwi is basically when it's uh, after um, all the Arabic letters except from meme and ba. Okay, and the very first word, al which mad is there and why is it? Mad wajib muttasil because it's because it's in the same letter and hamzas the the hamzas after it. Okay, okay, jazakallah. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much for that, Sheikh Maqsud Ilahi. If you may pick the passage. Okay, if you can recite for me from. سورة الأنفال آية نمبر 75 سورة الأنفال آية نمبر 75 أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم والذين آمنوا من بعد ما هاجروا وجاهدوا معكم فأولئك منكم وأولو الأرحام بعضهم أولى ببعض في كتاب بالله إن الله بكل شيء عليم براءة من الله ورسوله إلى الذين عاهدتم 
إلى الذين عاهدتم من المشركين فسيحوا في الأرض أربعة أشهر واعلموا أنكم واعلموا أنكم غير معجز الله وأن الله مخز الكافرين وأذان من الله ورسوله إلى الناس يوم الحج الأكبر إلى الناس يوم الملحج الأكبر أن الله بريء من المشركين. Okay, جزاكم الله خير. Thank you so much, Elias Masoud. Thank you for reading those verses. Going to go for a break now, inshallah. After the break, we have more contestants, so do stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullah.